Good morning, beautiful people. Sussika, Namaste, Tesalam. If you're watching the vlog for the very first time, welcome. My name is Zaman. Just uh, getting ready. Got to head into the office today. I don't think there'll be too much traffic because of spring break, which is nice. So I should get there at a decent time, hopefully. There's no accidents or anything like that on the bridge. That'd be nice. I'll be there till about, oh, one, two o'clock, I think. Then I'll head back. Um, hopefully my packages come today so I can fix my uh, car. I'm expecting a book as well. Hey guys, I'm done pretty much from uh, my work here. But I can't leave yet because I gotta wait for this stupid compressor to fill up. I'll show you guys. See, I don't know if you can see that, but it says 31 PSI. I need to let it get it to at least 65, I think. It takes about, oh, five minutes or so. But freaking ridiculous. Like, it's a full air, you know, in the tank. But because of that leak, it just dies right away. Like, while I'm driving here, I can see the numbers dip. I know you're probably sick and tired of hearing my car problems, but this one's a pain in the ass, man. I can't wait to get my cables so I can get this fixed once and for all. It's almost six o'clock, fam. I'm gonna start on some dinner. Got some leftover stock grill, which I'm really looking forward to munch on. So I'm gonna do that right now. Um, I was talking to a buddy of mine and he's kind of down and stuff about some stuff he's trying to achieve. And um, you know, people get like that. I get the like too, but you know, I was trying to explain to him that the system, let's just call it the system, is designed in a way to make that perception that is very, very hard for you to succeed in anything that you do. I mean, think about it, like whoever you're trying to, you know, compare your success to um, is probably far from few. And they beat all the odds. So it seems like, oh my God, like, you know, they, they were born with a silver spoon in their mouth. They had money already and you know, they had all these connections and blah, blah, blah. Like, don't get me wrong. I think, you know, some of that, you know, for some people, it it mattered. You know, if you're, if you know, if you had money at a very young age that you could use to invest, for sure. You know, if you had great connections, for sure. But what about all those people, you know, that you hear about that started from nothing? What did they have? Well, I'll tell you what they had. They had the drive, the work ethic, and that, you know, that the burning desire to make change. Um, and that's what I'm trying to explain to my, my buddy. I'm like, listen, man, like, you know, everyone out there is waiting for you to fail and you can't let that happen. You can't, you know, give in to their, you know, because into their will because they've won. Like, you know what I mean? Like my, I do what I do because I don't want them to win. Simple as that. I've always been a competitive person. I've always been told, you know, my whole life, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know blah 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 and i used to be like no that's that, that that doesn't sound right like why should i listen to you you know why are you saying that to me you know like how would you know when you don't have the things that i want you know i was very um question oriented when i used to meet people like that and for me honestly it's just that that desire to not lose to the status quo and the determining factor i'm trying to explain to him is that you know he is the x factor you know what i mean like he is he is the only one responsible and he's the only one that's going to be able to make whatever he's trying to do successful. I'll give you an example, okay? Um, let's take, you know, I have a perfect product. Perfect product, perfect price point. You just got to put it out in the market and, you know, do your thing and people are going to buy it, right? That's, let's just say. And there's two different types of people, right? If I give that same product, the same plan, same everything to two different people, one of them chances are will be more successful than the other. The chances of them having the same success is very rare, very uncommon. It may happen, but it's very, very rare, right? So if you give, if you give the person everything exactly the same, what is the common denominator there? Like what determines who's gonna be more successful than the other one? It's the individual, right? It's like, you know, like I use this example all the time. Like I have, you know, like 30, 40,000 uh, you know, music files on my drive, you know, my collection of 30 years of DJing or 25 plus years of DJing, right? I've got a great, you know, great arsenal of music for any DJ. If I give my turntables or my DJ system, you know, all my music, everything to two different DJs, the chances of them playing the exact same music in the exact same way is highly unlikely. It won't happen, right? It's the same thing, right? Um, so you gotta understand that you are the common denominator you are the x factor and i say that many times like you can't if things don't go wrong you know what it's on you you know what i mean like besides natural disasters and stuff like that or 
you know the economy changes whatever i mean you know that 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 happens once in a blue moon but you need to look at yourself in the mirror and you need to basically say you know that's on me that's why that happened i was too lazy or i didn't get this done or blah 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 you know and it, some of this was very hard for him to listen to but some of it was a reality check you know he's like you know what yeah you're right you know i got to stop comparing myself to other people i got to stop relying on other people you know i got to stop blah 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 and that's what it is it comes down to you being focused dialed in impeccable work ethic right and just getting it done simple as that it's like uh, 7:30 ish guys i'm just chilling out right now um going to get a little bit of work done um, I'm tired. I had a late night last night. I uploaded yesterday's vlog and it turns out that I did a duplicate. Um, which was just me being tired and just not, you know, thinking straight. Uploaded it and I noticed it and, you know, late because the vlog went up late anyways. And then, um, which kind of sucks. So I basically had to. You know, delete that on, my, on the YouTube page and then go back and re-upload it again. I have to re-upload it, gotta wait for it because I do all the tags, I do like all the, you know, all this stuff at the end. You know, when I say, you know, the eye in the sky, that's an actual, you know, card that comes up. So you can click on, you know, some other videos and stuff. And that you can only do once the video has been uploaded and rendered. And you know, like when you're tired and you want to upload stuff, and I got a pretty fast internet connection, man. And it's just, I don't know what it was. It just felt like it was just taking forever. It's like, what of all the days, you know, this is this is like around 12.30 now and I'm tired. I wanna go upstairs, I just wanna pass out. But for some reason, you know, things just got slower and slower. Anyways, I got it up, got all that, and I got to bed at like 1.15. Obviously, I had to get up and go to work. So I'm tired and right now, I'm just gonna get a couple things done. I'm gonna shut down, I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna try to get to bed early today just cause this rest of the week's gonna be really, really busy. Uh, wifey's over the parents are gonna grab the girls and they're coming home So I want to see the girls obviously before I crash and stuff tomorrow is Wednesday I'm not sure what the plans are if the girls are home. I'll be working from home But at some point I do have to go to the other office out in Langley I'll probably do that Thursday or Friday. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully all my packages come I do have a book coming uh, which I'll show you guys. I uh, hope you guys order those books man I talked about them a few vlogs ago start with why Simon Sinek and Think and Grow Rich Napoleon Hill make sure you get those books really important um, I got my book, like I said, you know, if I'm telling you to do something, you know, I'm doing it at the same time. So I've got some my, my reading material, I'm going to be starting that. Hopefully, and then I'm going to, and I'm so looking forward to getting the steel braided hose and the, the check valve so I can get my car all sorted out. So hopefully all that stuff comes tomorrow. But I want to say if you're watching the vlog for the very first time, you know, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe to be part of the family. If you want to see more vlogs just like this, please click on. Yeah, this guy, of course, my peeps, be you, stay optimistic, enjoy the rest of your night. It's a big high five for me to all of you.